Gene Mutation Darwin's theory of evolution, presented in 1859, was based on the hypothesis that natural selection acted upon the hereditary variability present in a species to preserve only those types that were better adapted to their environment. In support of his theory, Darwin gathered many examples showing that such hereditary variability occurred. For example, in domesticated animals, where breeding records had long been kept, numerous instances had been recorded of novel types called sports suddenly appearing. Short-legged varieties of sheep and dogs, tailless cats, and similar inherited anomalies could occasionally be traced to their origin in single animals. However, Darwin himself and most of his followers believed that evolution proceeded in a more gradual, quantitative fashion than in large, sudden steps. Evidence for the gradual view of evolution could be seen in the many small differences between varieties of the same species and sometimes even between related species. The search of most evolutionists was, therefore, for small effects or continuous variation. In the late 19th century, prior to the discovery of Mendel's work, De Vries and others had put forth a theory that hereditary changes in nature, rather than having small and continuous, may well have been large and discontinuous. De Vries called these large effects mutations and gathered evidence for the high frequency of such mutations from the most extraordinary plant, the evening primrose. And that is gene mutation. Have a great day.